Hey guys, so as expected, today Apple has now released iOS 26 Developer Beta 2. This one comes in two weeks after the first beta, as expected. And today, obviously, we're going to go over what's new with the latest iOS 26 Developer Beta 2. Now, the beta came in at a little over 2 gigs for me on iPhone 16 Pro Max. That is coming from beta 1 to beta 2. Your beta could be anywhere from 2 to 3.5 gigs in some cases, depending on your device. Now, the latest build number for this one, let's head on over into the about section right here and take a look at the latest build number right there it is you see ending with the letter f meaning we have plenty of betas before the official release for ios 26 we're expecting apple to release this software sometime mid to late september this year now aside from ios 26 developer beta 2 apple also released all these other updates for all their other devices so we have ipad os mac os watch os HomePod OS, TV OS, and of course, Vision OS, Developer Beta 2, all available as of today. So let's take a look at what's new with iOS 26 Developer Beta 2. I actually have some good news to share with you guys in regards to the new liquid glass design. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So first things first, on the right, we have iOS 26 Developer Beta 2, and on the left, we have Beta 1, just for comparison. And the number one issue with Beta 1, the number one complaint, was the control center contrast with liquid glass. Now with iOS 26 developer beta 2, take a look at that. Apple has officially added additional contrast to the control center. As you can see right there, you can see that the blur is now added to the control center, giving it more of a contrasty look, if you will. Now, this also translates over to notifications. So when you get a notification on the lock screen, you'll be able to see those notifications a lot better. And it also translates to sub menus within the home screen, such as this one. And of course, the background within folders as you can see right here have a little more contrast in beta 2 in comparison to beta 1 now keep in mind that apple will continue to address the liquid glass design and everything in regards to contrast and things of that nature as more betas become available but as of right now the main complaint with the control center is now fixed with beta 2 now interestingly enough apple has also added a brand new ringtone to the iphone with ios 26 beta 2 so let's head on over into settings let's go under the sound and haptics here and if we go under ringtones and we select the reflection options we have this new ringtone let me go ahead and play that for you So that's the new ringtone. Now there's also some changes happening to search within the phone application. So we have the liquid glass menu here on the bottom. But if I tap on the search, take a look here in beta two, the keyboard pops up. We have an X here to dismiss automatically. Now in beta one, if we tapped here, the keyboard does not pop up. You just go back to the other menu or the previous menu you see here. So for example, if I'm in calls and I tap on search, it just brings me to search. I can tap here to bring the keyboard up and then dismiss, but we have the option to go back. In beta two, we tap on search, automatically populates the keyboard, tap on the X, and it brings me right back to the previous option. So yeah, minor changes happening to the phone app as well. Now, if we jump into Safari here, there's some changes happening here as well. If you're using the compact view, as you see right here, we have the three dots here for the menu. You see there, that's been changed as well here in beta one. We have three options on the top. On the beta two, we have the three options vertically, as you see right here. And they have the all tabs on the bottom right of this pop-up menu, which I really like. It will bring me here. And once I go into the all tabs view, you see here this menu has also changed. The tabs is now white instead of blue. The check mark is now at the bottom. And you see the menu here is now compact into three dots right there, as you see. And you can click into that for the sub menu. So changes happening within the UI here for Safari is well happening on the latest beta. Now, Apple also added a new live radio widget for Apple Music. So let's go into the widgets categories here and let's scroll down until we find Apple Music. Here's beta one and here is a beta two. So let's swipe all the way to the end and you see that we now have a new one right after pins. Right here we have a live radio. So obviously you can add the widget and you see there that you have a blue icon there next to the 
I had widget options right there. Once you add it, you'll be able to actually interact with live radio stations directly from the widget, obviously. And you see there, that is a new widget now available within the latest beta for Apple Music as well. Now, this beta also adds one major new feature to the iPhone, and Apple has added a new recovery assistant feature for iPhone. This is something we've talked about for many years, and it is finally here. You'll now be able to basically return a device to a working state without the need of a Mac or a PC, okay? So this is something that Apple has been working on for quite some time. It's been rumored to be coming to the iPhone and it looks like it's finally here with iOS 26 developer beta 2. And there you guys have it. Apple has added some really nice improvements to the second beta. I'll continue digging around the software. I'll bring you guys a follow-up video in the next couple of days with any additional new features and changes that I come across. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.